Welcome to TechX Lovers. The future of inventions, space top. Space top is a concept for an augmented reality AR laptop that is still under development. It is designed to be a more portable and versatile alternative to traditional laptops. Space Dog doesn't have a physical screen. Instead, it projects a virtual screen into the air in front of the user. This allows the user to interact with the computer using hand gestures and voice commands. Space Top is also designed to be more collaborative than traditional laptops. Multiple users can work on the same project at the same time, and they can share files and collaborate in real time. Space Top is still in the early stages of development, but it has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with computers. It could make computers more portable, versatile, and collaborative. Sixth Finger Project The Sixth Finger Project is a research project by the University of Electrocommunications in Tokyo and the Centre National de la Recherche Scientifique CNRS in France. The project is developing a robotic finger that can be attached to the human hand. The sixth finger is designed to be a versatile tool that can be used for a variety of tasks. It can be used to grasp objects, multiple tools, and provide support. The sixth finger is also designed to be lightweight and easy to use so that it doesn't interfere with the user's natural movements. The sixth finger is still in the early stages of development, but it has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with the world. It could make tasks that are currently difficult or impossible to do, such as picking up small objects or reaching into tight spaces much easier. The sixth finger is also being explored as a potential treatment for people with disabilities. For example, it could be used to help people with amputations or paralysis regain some of their lost functionality. The Sixth Finger Project is a promising development in the field of robotics. It has the potential to make our lives easier and more productive, and it could also be a valuable tool for people with disabilities. Patero Dynamics XP4 Patero Dynamics XP4 is a VDOL vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that is still under development. It is designed to be a more efficient and versatile alternative to traditional helicopters. The XP4 uses a combination of flapping wings and propellers to generate lift. This allows it to take off and land vertically like a helicopter, but it also allows it to fly like a plane. The XP4 is also designed to be more energy efficient than traditional helicopters. This is because the flapping wings create less drag than the rotating blades of a helicopter. The XP4 is still in the early stages of development, but it has the potential to revolutionize the way we travel. It could be used for a variety of applications including urban air mobility, search and rescue, and military operations. The pangolin scales dress is a fashion created as a fashion concept created by a knock with Brett, a Dutch fashion tech designer. It was presented at the ARS Electronica Festival in 2020. Pangolin scales dress. The dress is made of artificial pangolin scales, which are attached to a flexible mesh. The scales are controlled by a brain-computer interface (BCI), which allows the wearer to control the movement of the scales with their thoughts. The dress is designed to be a commentary on the illegal trade in pangolin scales. Pangolins are the world's most trafficked mammal, and their scales are used in traditional Chinese medicine. The dress is still in the concept stage and hasn't been produced yet. However, it has been featured in the several exhibitions and has been met with mixed reactions.
Direct Drive Diablo. The Direct Drive Diablo is a self-balancing wheeled lever bar developed by Direct Drive Technology. It is still in development but has the potential to get versatile and useful robot. The Diablo is powered by six Direct Drive motors, which means that each motor is connected directly to the wheel it drives. This gives the Diablo more torque and control than robots that use traditional belt-driven or gear-driven motors. The Diablo is also equipped with a variety of sensors including cameras, duct sensors, and inertial measurement units. These sensors allow the Diablo to navigate its environment and avoid obstacles. The Diablo is still in development but it has the potential to be a versatile and useful robot. It could also be used for a variety of tasks such as search and rescue, inspection and delivery. Pivot BOE Pivot BOE is a floating offshore wind technology that aims to reduce the cost of energy production by up to 50%. It is a single point mooring system that uses a pivoting mechanism to allow the floating platform to align itself with the wind. This eliminates the need for active yaw control which can be a major cost driver for floating wind projects. The pivot buoy system is still in development but it has the potential to be a disruptive technology in the floating wind industry. It is already being tested at the BLOCAN test site in the Canary Islands. The pivot buoy system has several advantages over traditional floating wind technologies. It is simpler and more cost effective to install and it requires less maintenance. It is also more environmentally friendly as it doesn't require the use of active yaw control systems. The pivot buoy system is a promising new technology that has the potential to make floating wind a more cost effective and sustainable source of energy. Bombora M Wave Bombora M Wave is a wave energy converter VEC developed by Bombora Wave Power an Australian company. It is a membrane-style VEC that captures energy from the pressure of waves as they pass over it. M-Wave is unique among WECS as it simultaneously addresses the cost of energy and ocean wave survivability challenges. This new approach proffers a new era for wave energy. M-Wave is designed to be installed in shallow waters, typically less than 50 meters deep. It is made of a flexible membrane that is anchored to the seabed. As waves pass over the membrane, they create pressure that causes the membrane to deform. This deformation is converted into electricity by a hydraulic power system. M-Wave is a scalable technology that can be used to generate a significant amount of electricity. A single M-Wave unit can generate up to 1 megawatt of electricity, and multiple units can be connected together to create a larger power plant. Bombora M-Wave is still in the development stage, but it has the potential to be a major player in the wave energy industry. The company has completed a number of successful tests of the technology, and it is currently working on a commercial-scale project in Australia. Soft Robotic Heart Soft Robotic Hearts are a new type of artificial heart that is being developed. They're made of soft, flexible materials that can mimic the natural beating motion of a human heart. This makes them more compatible with the body and less likely to cause complications. Soft Robotic Hearts are still in the early stages of development, but they have the potential to revolutionize the treatment of heart disease. They could be used to replace or repair damaged hearts, and they could also be used to improve the function of healthy hearts. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.